Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, you guys, here it is. Today is Friday, March the 10th, and I am coming to you with my bathroom tour. Here I am standing in the hallway, and this is what you will see from standing in the hallway. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going to try to tell you guys where everything came from. I'm going to start here. This really beautiful picture, you guys, came from a place called uh, Foreman Mills here we have in Ohio. It is actually a, a picture of a locust, a, I mean a lotus plant, and um, it's white and it has like a pewter, it has glass in it, it has like a pewter frame to it. Oh gosh, you guys, I thought this was very pretty when I got it. It's a very large picture. It might not be doing justice on this camera, but it's a very large picture. And I paid, it was $14.99, it was on clearance, I paid $5 for it. Okay, we're going to go down here. Uh, this towel bar was installed by me. I forgot where I got it from. I think from Home Depot or whatever, and it was like $20. This uh, Moroccan print towel came from TJ Maxx. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to come back. On this side of the wall, you guys, we have our toilet paper holder light switch here. Here is that mirror, you guys. Remember that I painted? There it is. Have a bouquet of flowers here inside of a metallic glass bowl, which I think is really, really pretty. Down below here, I have my Buddha, which is a candle holder, which I also love. This came from the Goodwill, you guys. This came from the Goodwill. The bouquet of flowers came from the Goodwill. Remember, this came from um, Habitat for Humanity, which was 50 cents. And I think the bouquet of flowers was $2, you guys. The flowers came inside of that, inside that vase. And also, the Buddha statue came from the dollar, uh, no, from Goodwill. And I spray painted it uh, gold. I had it white before, then I spray painted it gold. Also, you guys, my hand towel is by Nicole Miller. That came from TJ Maxx as well. Uh, some of, this is a lotion bottle, which is a shiny uh, chrome finish. That actually came from the Goodwill, I think for $2. This one here came from uh, a store called Value World, which we have like, there's like a savers. And it actually pumps the soap out as a foam, which I love. And you guys, I'm still working on my backsplash, but this is what it looks like right now. It's just a white, shiny ceramic. And I found that at Habitat for Humanity. I think it was like a dollar just for the pieces. So I just have to, you know, finish it from here just to above the mirror here. You guys, this is my mirror. And the mirror did not have anything around it. I added some, uh, what do you call that? Some of the stripping, the rhinestone stripping around it. And it made it look very, very nice. I love it. I love it. Um, also, you guys... My shower curtain came from Home Home Goods, and I think I paid ten dollars for it. I really like the print; it's that Moroccan print, very pretty. And you guys, here is um, here is my display of some things on top of. You guys remember the shelf? That's what the shelf is looking like in my bathroom. You guys, I love it, love it, love it. I added a tray to this table, a mirror tray, and I paid two dollars from the Goodwill for this, you guys. This is the um, the uh, bath body, the bath salt that I got from Dollar Tree that I told you guys is all natural. I think I'm going to be putting this in a glass dish and put and add a little spoon to it. And this is one of the Sonoma Sonoma uh, candles, um, the collection, and I can't remember the name of the the fragrance, but it smells very good. I also purchased this, you guys, the sleeve that's from Bath and Body Works. Um, I got it from the Goodwill for a dollar. This just has like a uh, cotton, co I put like band-aids, cotton swabs, or alcohol swabs in there. And that caught this container here cost me two dollars. You guys, and the newest thing in here, besides the cabinet, I purchased this big vase. You guys, it was two dollars. It was kind of dusty. 
And I said, you know, I think I can work with it. Get it home, put it in some hot water, soap it up real good. Came out very well. And I bought some uh, fake plants here, some fake white plants, you know, just to go with the decor. And that um, cost me $2 from Dollar Tree. I just bought two. And I think I'll be adding some sand to it. And you guys, um, let's see. I'm going to be coming out of the bathroom. And this Moroccan print rug actually came from the same store that I got this beautiful picture from. And it cost me $3, you guys. $3 for this rug. It's a dark gray and uh, white. It's not Moroccan print. It's a trellis print. I'm sorry about that. It's a trellis print. And I don't know if you guys wanted to see what was inside of here. But, you know, um, this is a glass door that's on here. And it has just the two drawers here that open. And I, I hope it's all women on my channel, okay? So I have some personal things here. And in this one here, I just keep some more personal things, you know, and things like you uh, work on your feet and stuff like that. And like face, uh, face scrubber, I keep that in here as well. And then inside the cabinet here, I just have, you know, my personal, my tissue, Bath and Body Works lotion that I bar barely use. I got some foot uh, cream here. Coconut oil, which is my favorite thing to use. I have uh, Kleenex here. And just a other, some other uh, personal little things here. You know, some Alvino, some um, more Bath and Body Works uh, hand soap, electric toothbrush, and then there's that soap, you guys, here. The soap that I also got from Dollar Tree that I had in a previous haul that I was telling you about. Um, and that's all you guys I have in here. I wanted to keep it very clutter free. And then in here, some of those things I took from out of here. So now this is all nothing but space, which I love. And I just have, you know, just a few things here that you need. Body lotion, you know, some spray if somebody comes in here and funk up my bathroom, you know what I mean? <laughs> some method uh, uh, all-purpose cleaner, you know, my tissues. And I think back there, I think back here is like the box to the uh, motorized tube brushes, but that's it here, you guys. And then up in the medicine cabinet, I just have a couple of things. All these things here, you guys, are all natural. I make those. You can check it out in another video on my channel. Uh, and then here is all like my oils that I use to make uh, some of my homemade products and some of my body sprays. Along with uh, my tooth, I make uh, peppermint. I use peppermint oil for the toothpaste, and then some of these I can use. Like this one here is for uh, this one here is like for oil, oil diffuser. Yes, and that's about it. And I have some cotton swabs here, enough extra toothbrush, and some Vicks vapor rub. And I think this is some all natural. Uh, yeah, this is all natural. It's for your nose if you get stuffy. But yes, you guys, um, that is it. I'm very. I live very simply. I don't have a lot. But I just wanted to give you a tour of my bathroom and what it is looking like since I put the cabinet in here. You guys, I'm really loving the space. Um, I don't know if you can how it looks on your end. But the bathroom is kind of small, but then at the same time, you know, there's nothing in the way. I still can, you know, we can get in and out of the shower without a problem. And let me shut the door. And then back here, you guys, I just have like... Just a bath, my scarf that I use, and some white bath uh, robes. So this is how it looks. There's a little hallway space there. I'm going to turn around so you can see a little bit better. So, yes. This is my bathroom, you guys. I hope you enjoy the bathroom tour. Like I said, it's not a lot. But I like it, and it fits my needs and my family's needs so I hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think about the cabinet that I put in the in the bathroom oh you guys uh, um, this is gonna be like a little extra bonus I am actually going to show you my new living room space because I think at the last time for the tour that I gave you guys I actually turned my living room I changed some things around so I am going to show you what that looks like and you guys tell me what you think I absolutely love it this way so I made the sitting area back on this side of the wall I don't 
don't think it's nothing new over here that I added, but these two round mirrors. These two round mirrors, you guys, were in my dining room area. I, they were white, so I spray painted them gold, and I added them here with the other gold circle mirror. And then over here on this wall, I just took this out of my kitchen. It's actually a family portrait that has rhinestones going around it. I don't know if you can see the rhinestones because I don't have on the light in here, but um, I added that there. And then over here, I put that table on this side. Took out the curtain that was in the middle here, you guys, from last time and put it in that spare bedroom, in my guest bedroom that you've seen. So this is how the living room space is looking now. Here are those the goblets that I bought recently in a previous video and a uh, Goodwill tour. And you guys, I actually found another mirror. So I am actually done with my gallery wall. I think it looks nice. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna go back a little bit so you guys can see. So yes, you guys, I put the couch on this side of the of the wall and still is just a mirror there and I actually added the ottoman in front of the sofa I told you guys it was very very large I really like that and here's my tray I have another candle here lit you guys it smells so good so good and that's it you guys so tell me what you think I actually like the living room space this way it, I still have a lot of room but I just think it looks a little bit more cozy like this so the only thing that's new here you guys is the extra mirror that I was waiting for to find and that came from the Goodwill it was like 50 cents and it was black so I spray painted it gold um, and actually I think that's it you guys and I actually took off the base to this. I think you guys remember this when I found both of these together. This had a, uh, another piece that I hot glued it, but I took it off and put it by itself because I think it looks so much better that way. And I actually put it here. So this candle I added on top of this uh, beveled circle mirror from Dollar Tree. And then this is the base, you guys, that came, that I had hot glued to the uh, gold candle thing there. So you guys, let me know in the comments what you think. I really, really, really like my living room space now. I think it looks very nice, very uh, attractive, and very warm. It's still open, but it's not as open as it was before. So I'm gonna give you a little Pan around view here so you can see the little changes that I made. You guys, I really appreciate your feedback and I appreciate all your comments and thanks to all my subscribers. I really guy I, I really appreciate you guys on this channel. My whole idea is just to inspire you to, you know, shop your local Goodwill. You know, for nice things, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. So that is my whole, that's the whole idea for this channel. Is to show you how you can have a beautiful home on a budget. So you guys, I'm going to end this video. And like I said, please give me back your, give me your feedback and let me know. How do you like the front room? Do you like it the other way? Or do you like it this way? Does it seem a little cozier to you? Or do you like the open, the more open space? And like I said, I still have open space here. It's just not as open, you know. So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to end this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. I think the next video will be my dining room tour. So you guys have a great evening and God bless you all. Bye-bye.